Hello again and welcome back to Illegally Sighted. This is Jesse and I am back for another PC accessible game spotlight video. And we're taking a look at a game that I have looked at on stream and I think I did like an like a demo video of it a while back. I know I've covered it before, but we are looking at the full release of Lost and Hound. Um, this is a cool little indie game where you play as a dog. Um, you're a dog named Biscuit. You work with your owner, your master, and you don't seem to be a like a official service dog, but that's kind of like what you're playing essentially. Like you're doing a lot of different things, and that's what I like about this game. Like I like just the whole unique um, levels, the unique like gameplay, the unique, um, you know, you just don't see yourself playing as like a service dog very often, if at all. Um, but yeah, that's what you're doing. I'm a couple levels in so far, and this game is um, blind accessible, blind playable, but there are a few things I think that are not quite there yet, um, or a couple things that could be added. We'll go through this as, through those as we go. Um, but it is really kind of interesting. So, like I said, I play this dog named Biscuit. We started um, with the outdoor tutorial level that I believe was in one of the demos. Um, you know, just a little bit of training with your master. Then we had to rescue a lost or a kid that ran away <clears throat> from his parents out in the wilderness. I was in a hospital. Um, kind of helping save some patients that, you know, the doctors overlook things, but you know how animals can kind of sense things. Uh, so I saved a few lives there. Then I was in a city level where we were kind of informally, uh, tasked by the local police to be like, Hey, we don't have a canine unit, but like, if you guys happen to notice anything, don't uh, interact with this guy. But there was a guy that was doing some shady stuff, and so we kind of uh, stealthily followed him around a little bit, found out where his hideout was so we could, uh, so that my, my owner could tell the, the cops. So that was kind of neat. And now we have made it home, and this is where the game kind of branches out a little bit. We get a few basic, uh, or a few, um, like, smaller jobs that we can repeatedly do to earn money. <clears throat> And we use that money to unlock other locations around the world and unlock our major jobs. So the game does not use text-to-speech. It uses um, narrated menus, so like human narrated menus if I arrow. Settings. Resume. Settings. Exit to main menu. Quit. Exit Settings. to main menu. Resume. Okay, so we can go resume. Let's go into settings. Settings. Audio. Just so I can show you. So under audio, volume. I like that we have a lot of different volume sliders. Music volume, SFX volume, menu narration, dialogue, back, audio. So we've got a lot there, and I like the fact that narration volume is also uh, a thing there. I did lower the music volume quite a bit just because, like, yeah, the music was fine. Um, but you notice that uh, it depends, I guess, on like what speakers or what headphones you're using as well. By the way, while you're watching this video or playing this game, wear headphones. Definitely want to wear headphones for this. But um, I, I found that, you know, kind of with the, the low bass of the guy's voice, um, and if there was a loud music playing, um, I found that it was sort of hard to hear, especially when they were sometimes giving instructions for the levels that you're in or, you know, plot details, that kind of a thing. So I lowered the music just to make the dialogue a bit easier to hear. Um, keyboard and mouse. Keyboard and mouse. So we got options for that. Video and graphics. Graphics. Gameplay UI. Gameplay UI. I'm trying to remember what was in subtitles. here. Oh, yeah. So we got subtitles. We can turn them on and off. Flag type. Now, flag type, I'm not even quite sure what that is, but I know when I go left and right on this, like, I'll choose mine to America. The, all the other options speak whether they're on or off or what the settings are, but for some reason, the flag does not speak. Game mode. 
So we're going to say, because we changed it from, I guess it was on Pride to we're on American now. Flag type. Um, game mode. So game mode, there is a normal and a casual mode. I'm not entirely, I do kind of wish maybe like they would have a little text and have it also narrated when you switch from, let's say, normal to casual. I've been playing it on norm <clears throat> normal. I'm not quite sure what the difference is between those. I mean, I can kind of make some uh, assumptions, but not entirely sure what the full difference is there. Back. Let's go back. You are back. Settings. Resume. And let's go to resume. So, what? Before we do that, I just want to mention. So, there's a couple mechanics that you're really relying on, and for navigation, you are relying on often a scent trail or some kind of like audio uh, beacons almost like when you sniff uh, you use a B button you can play this keyboard and mouse or I'm using the Xbox one elite controller right now um, a barks B does the uh, sniff the sniffs Y usually digs X I believe if I remember correctly picks things up like you're fetching things um, Left trigger runs, right trigger does a little hop. Um, but you're basically trying to follow like a, the scent trail or an audio beacon. And to trigger those, you'll either hear it ambiently if you're on the scent trail, or if you lost it, you can sniff and then you hear like a ping in a certain direction. You can try to get back on track. Um, those are the, your main mechanics. Um, so let's go ahead and resume. <laughs> You hear the heartbeat there. That is, you kind of know where your master is, because you can kind of hear his heartbeat. And the noise off to the right, that is a sound of something that I can go towards. So we're in our apartment here, and that is the map screen that we can go to. So he's like, yeah, you know, we don't have much money right now. And uh, yeah, that seems to be the thing. We've got a pretty... Those dogs are at the shelter now. We bought them a bit of time, but they can't stay there forever, and they oh. can't stay here with us. Okay, um, but we got a little fireplace over here. Oh, whoa, what the heck is, what is, what? Uh, okay, that is weird. I didn't know, <laughs> at S-O-U-L underscore... A N T nineteen. Okay. Um, just when I went up, it went really close. Like that was just like a weird perspective change. So I should mention this is a uh, total mainstream game that also, like, you can kind of play it visually. But even visually, there's been like, um, it's really encouraging you to use your ears because you're going to be in situations where you're in storms, whether it's a blizzard or a rainstorm or maybe it's super dark or something. And you're going to need to rely on your ears, um, your, your sense of smell through your hearing, essentially. And you hear the static. There is a TV over here. Tiga, pay to unlock this dog for training. Okay, how much does that cost, though? Luna, pay to unlock this dog for training. Oh, yeah, that's right. He said that each one of these is 100. I do remember him saying that. Tiga, pay to unlock so, I do have enough money. Let's unlock a dog. Unlocked. Tiga. Okay. Luna, Tiga. Locked. Protector. Defense biscuit from harm. Sprinter. Bark at him for a short speed boost. Focused. Press action to lower volume of environmental sounds for five seconds. Huh. Okay, that's unique. Luna. Pay to Tiga. Locked. Protector. Defense biscuit from harm. Sprinter. Bark at him for a short speed boost. Focused. Huh. Press action to lower volume of environmental sounds for five seconds. Okay. So he did say that you had to, you didn't know what their perks would be uh, until you unlock them, but now, okay, so that's kind of neat. I'm kind of curious what the other ones do. So we can back out of that. Um, let's do a, I, I keep calling them mini games, but they're not mini games. Swiss Alps. So here's a level that I just unlocked. 
And I should also mention that, um, like, if I move to the right here, Customs locked. 200. so it tells you how much money it costs to unlock the levels, but as a blind user, there's no, as far as I can tell, I've tried every button, um, or just trying to go in and out of menus, it doesn't tell you how much money you have. Like, I can see visually in the lower right corner, I'm down to four gold. So that sucked my uh, cash flow down to nothing. So we're going to do some mini games or do some side jobs and get some. So let's go down. Flushing and retrieving mini level. I tried this one. I didn't care for this one quite as much. It's a little bit confusing, but I like this other one. We're going to do the truffle Sir, hunt. Um, mini level I, I do wish couple things here. Um, I do wish that I could use the D-pad in here because I find that it's really sensitive if I try to go left and right, but I have just a tiny bit of like up or down in my left and right. It'll it'll automatically go up to the main jobs or down to the side jobs where I don't want that. So I But I can't use my D-pad here like I can in the pause menu. The other thing you noticed is that if I go through these menus fast, there are um, some audio, there's some voices, um, speaking over each other. So when you're arrowing, instead of like the speech being interrupted, it's just over laying them on top of each other. So if I go, see, yeah, those should inter, yeah. See, now we're getting all kinds of gibberish together. So it really would be helpful to, whenever you do an input to interrupt the speech and just play what the new one is rather than layering them on top of each other because Outback gold hunting that can be a little crazy livestock herding mini level locked. so we haven't unlocked those yet we're gonna do the truffle hunt okay press spacebar or a to continue all right so we're in this uh Beaner. nice little farm so we got Tigga. We don't really need him, but... Now, the other thing here, to my knowledge... Okay, no. Um, that information that we heard on the TV when we bought the upgrade for Tigga. Um, visually, it shows like all the stuff that he kind of read in that other screen. I wish there was a button that I could press on this screen here that would read me what the dog what the dog's attributes are you know that he'll defend you that he'll that he gives you a speed boost there's stuff visually here that you're not getting as a blind player so like i said while this game is technically blind accessible i think there could be a few things added just so that the blind player has the same information that a sighted person would use because I'm looking at this both visually and audibly. So we'll we'll use him just because I upgraded him. So he's not going to tell us what to do because we've done this a few times already. So we're going to take our schnoz and sniff. And there we hear our little sound. Let's run over here a little bit. And I'm doing this all via audio. And there is a thing where it, the, when you move, it cuts out, like the, that audio tone cuts out. I remember commenting on that in the demo, and I don't remember what the... I don't recall what the explanation for that was. Um, but there, it, there was a reason for why the sound cuts out when you, uh, like it, we, you, it plays when you stop moving and then when you run, it, um, cuts out when you move really quick. Like that. I think it's to cut down on distraction. Okay, where are you, Mr. Truffle? And while looking at this game visually, I noticed that a lot of the objects in the world, to kind of cut down on like weird navigation issues, 
a lot of the items like you know trees and rocks and things you can kind of just like clip through them like i'm gonna look around here for real this time yeah see i can run through this tree it's just like yeah okay there's no collision detection for it so just go toward the sound which i i think it had kind of a combination of that in the demo so let's sniff again okay seems to be straight ahead ish so we're gonna run Okay. Okay, it's loud. See, I'm not quite sure. It sounds like it's right there, but it's not. Okay, it sounds like it's back here now. Okay, cool, got some money. Let's take another sniff. So each time you do this, like again, these side jobs you can do um, multiple times to earn money. And each time it's random, so there may be more or fewer things that you can find. So like in this truffle game, Oh, that's too far away. I'm still not sure how I feel the sound cutting out when I start moving. I'm not sure about that. It's got to be here somewhere. I'm having trouble with this one. Usually I have no problem. Okay, now it's Time to go, Biscuit. Great job. Okay, so we found as many as we're gonna find for now. Press spacebar or A to continue. Okay. So we'll hit A. Now we're back in our apartment. Ooh, we only have 77 that time. So to unlock another main level, we need at least like 200. I'd have to do that mini game a couple more times, or I would have to try the. I mean, I can. Oh, let me show you the other one just so you can see. 75. Swiss Alps. Flushing and retrieving mini level. Let's go there. So this one, you're helping some hunters, and you're Press trying to scare up some little birdies continue. and then bring them back. All right. Ah, uh, sure. We'll get back to me. I'm coming out here. It's been years since I could walk more than a few paces at a time. We never had a dog help us before. My nephew Chris is right over there. He's the one who'd be helping. Thanks for the help, Mister. I'm having trouble finding the grass after I get them, and if I don't have to wade into the water to flush them out into the air, I can get better shots off. You're welcome, but. Hunting is pretty cool. Can't you do something else for fun? Anyway, thanks again, sir. Yeah. Here's what will happen. I'll get ready. When I'm ready, you'll hear my gun call. If you go before I'm ready, I won't get as many shots off and you won't get paid as much. After you hear that sound, you have to sneak towards the bird silently, stalking your prey. Listen for them. You'll hear them rustling around in the reeds in the shallow water. If you approach them while you're stalking, it'll scare them quick and I'll get another shot off. If you approach them from anywhere other than downwind, that will scare them more and I'll get another shot off. Or, to put it another way, if the wind is behind you when you're walking towards them, they'll smell you coming and flush your room. If the wind is behind you while you walk towards them, try to walk around to the side. Alright, did you get all that biscuit? <laughs> Find out where they are by listening. Make sure you sneak when you're into the water. Approach them from any direction other than the same one the wind is coming from, and you will get a lot of shots off. And wait for the gun cocking sound. So this one's actually kind of oddly complicated. It, Once I bring them down, sniff to find them and pick them up. Bring them right back here to the fire. Thank you again, sir. And thank you, doggy. Yeah. Okay, let's go. 
Okay, so I got to the point where I, um, he shot some birds, I grabbed one or two or something, and then I couldn't find the fire again to come back, so... We're in shallow water. Got all these reeds and stuff here. So I hear rustling. I'm just going to go in whatever direction, because I don't know. Charge! I know we're not supposed to, but I'm gonna. Yeah, okay, here's some. And the dog panting, that just means you're running a little bit too long and he's getting tired. Okay, so birdies are escaping. Now we got a schnoz. Got to sniff a little bit. Let's follow the noise here. Okay, yeah, I open my eyes now, and look, you can't see anything. The reeds are so tall, you have to use your hearing. Okay, we're getting close. So there's a lot of noise going on right now, and I don't know if I grabbed one. I heard a little chomp when I hit Y, so let me go back the way I came. I wonder if I can grab more than one? See, this I find a little confusing. I gotta admit. I'm just gonna assume we hopefully have some. Because it's like right there. Uh. Oh, the heck with it. We're just going to try to go back and see. I'm going to cheat and use my vision a little bit here, just for the sake of the video's speed. Um, trying to remember what the heck way it is back... Okay, I hear the fire. Okay, well, at least I've got a bird. I know you're tired, puppy, but I'm trying to get back here. Okay, you can see the smoke way up there. Alright. Oh, s Why do you hunt? It's a cruel practice. That huh? boy feeds the family with that rifle. And I'll thank you to show him a little bit more respect. His father left us a little while ago, and my sister, his mother, died a few years back. That boy is the only reason myself and his little brother are still alive. Can you imagine that? A man of the house at 11 years old? You weren't even thinking about girls yet at that age. Nah. Still playing with toys and probably wet in the bed. Excuse me. I haven't went to bed since I was nine. 
five since you were nine. Uh, I mean, what? No, it's just... <laughs> what were you saying? That good lord. left his childhood behind so he could feed his family. Every molecule in those birds would be used. Meat for the family. Plume feathers sold to collectors and crafters' organs given to the downed dogs and bones ground up for garden fertilizer. Come deer sees it. He'll be in a blaze of orange vest up in his tree stand, motionless and silent for hours until he gets a deer. He'll drag it back. He'll hoist it up in a tree and hang it from a branch to drain it. We'll be fed for a week. A month. You can disrespect me all you want, but you'll treat him as he's earned, thank you. That was really great, Chris. You can call us anytime. Thank you, sir. Thank you, too, doggy. Mm. All right, so we got a little story bit there. Press spacebar or A. So it's kind of interesting the way, you know, they tried to talk about, like, you know, how people uh, feel about hunting and, and that kind of stuff. Um, I'm from a family, like I said, I grew up on a farm and, uh, my dad, my mom a little bit, my brother for sure. My dad, my brother, especially, they would hunt every year, um, if they could get a license for deer. And, you know, I don't have a problem with hunting. Um, but I think if you're going to hunt, you do it because you are hunting for food. Um, you're doing it because like he said, he's feeding his family, like, you know, I grew up, I ate venison, I ate deer meat. Um, you know, my dad would hunt birds sometimes. And so, like I said, we had, you know, we had chickens growing up, but we, my dad would go hunting, you know, he would try to hunt pheasant every once in a while or, uh, other birds. Um, <clears throat> but like I said, we would eat them, you know, like we would, you know, we wouldn't just, the people who shoot and just hunt for sport and just leave them around and like, oh, I just want that. I just want the antlers or the that kind of a thing. No, 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 no. Um, you know, I, I don't have a problem with people hunting. Um, but like I said, we would, uh, you know, that, that, like he said in the winter time, um, you know, the, the gar the vegetables we grew in the garden, the animals that we either, you know, butchered like cows or hunted like deer, um, that would feed us, uh, for the winter time. And I still get meat from my parents when I go back home. I've talked about that before on the channel where, you know, hey, I've, uh, you know, we'll get some burger or pork or whatever if they've um, <clears throat> gotten some meat for that. So, yeah, you know, I mean, if it's done reasonably, um, that's fine. So, let's resume. So, I showed you the hunting mini game. We uh, Let's see, what do we have for cash? Eh, we didn't earn too much. We earned some. I think the... Um, I think the other mini game is a little bit easier, just personally for me. Let's show you a uh, let's show you a main mission before we wrap up here. So this is new. I started it yesterday as I'm recording this. Um, I got a little lost. Not gonna lie. Um, you're trying to rescue some skiers here. Press spacebar or A to continue. So Swiss Alps. Yeah, I wish I knew what these other ones did. We received a call from around here. Lost skiers, apparently. Can anyone hear me? Please, anyone. It's freezing and we are lost. We need help. This is Hayden Clark. Yes, we hear you. What is your current location? Thank God. I don't know. Somewhere between the two towering mountains. Uh, there are trees and stuff. Yes. <laughs> Vague. Uh, helpful. <laughs> we just landed. We're coming to your location. Keep calm and try to stay as warm as possible and save your batteries. Call again if there's trouble. Well, yep. time to work. All right, so we got... Uh, they're using I'm... a radio, but it's weird no one is answering them. I thought there was a ranger station close by. Okay, it's snowing, so part of the scent trail will be buried. When you lose the scent trail, it might be under the snow. You'll need to dig when that happens by pressing R. Or by pressing Y on the controller. But, um, so we got our helicopter out here. Like I said, this is a mainstream game. We got visuals. Right now we can kind of see what's going on. Uh, but as we get into the level, like, it's literally a whiteout. And you can't see Jack. So you really, again, they're kind of, like, I like the way this game is trying to teach you that you need to use your vision um, to rep represent hearing, 
or, or you need to use your hearing to represent scent. Good Lord, I haven't had enough caffeine this morning. Um, so they're kind of giving you visuals to start, but then they're taking it away and a, a lot of times as the level goes in to really try to hammer home that point. So let's, uh, we got our helicopter here. And I, I like the visuals. I like the snow effects. That's pretty cool. We had a rain in another level. We had some storms. But I like the kind of low polygon art style. So if you want to look at this visually. Okay. So this part I don't have too much problem with. And I did uh, recently retweet a video posted by the developer. Some people were having trouble with the following the scent trail and he did a nice little walkthrough of how a couple different ways you can use to follow that so right now you hear this Wah. and when it's in the center you're following the trail <clears throat> now it's off to the right more so let's go to the right a little more Okay, now we hear a raisin pitch. So that's where we want to go. Okay, it's over to the right. Okay. So you can do it a couple different ways. You can try to keep it centered, or you can do what he calls trailing. Kind of like when you, you're blind and you trail a wall to find like rooms in a hallway or something where you can keep the the scent trail the audio in one ear or another and then just kind of try to follow it like you would like a river or something okay where did that audio go okay it, okay it's this way so this part I don't have too much trouble with, knock on wood. But boy, later on, I... Huh. Alright, I totally lost the scent here. Yeah, I say, oh, this isn't too bad, and then I get lost. Okay, there's the tone. I mean, I, I get what he's doing with the scent trail, but even I'm a little bit confused from time to time. Like, I think I have it, and then I get off the trail, and you there's something that's not the next part of the trail. quite clicking with me yet. Um, sometimes I find it pretty easily, and then other times... So now it goes up, so we want to go this way. This way? I don't know if... I don't know if, I'm mad at, if I have to find another dig before I can really move on, otherwise the scent escapes. I so said there's a couple things I'm not exactly... Ah! Okay, I dodged that. Yeah, when you hear snowfall, I found out the hard way, yeah, you can get buried under that and then you have to dig yourself out. 
Okay, let's sniff here. it again. I almost kind of like, um... So, like I said, I almost kind of like, instead of having, like, a tone, I almost wish there was, uh, like, in other audio games where, like, you've had, like, a, a beacon that you just kind of have to center, like, some sort of a noise that kind of works in little, like, step increments where, like, okay, you go here, and then you hear something off in the distance, you center that in your audio, and then you go toward that kind of audio beacon, um... I said some sometimes I'm not sure like it it sounds maybe louder than it is and I don't know if I'm like where I need to dig I, I I can't quite tell if I'm close enough like even during the truffles there it's like okay the noise sounds really loud but apparently I'm not near enough to it so um there's a little bit of guessing I think so I found the next waypoint let's go ahead and continue and let's schnoz a little bit here. Okay. I hear another... No, you don't. I think some of the sounds are sort of blending together where, like, they kind of harmonize, and so it might be a little hard to tell, like, which sound is which. Let's see. So, come here. Where are we at? Okay, there we go. I'd like to find the skiers because I want to show you the... Oh no you don't. See I feel like that's lower again. Okay that is higher. Sniff again. Okay, we're backing off the trail. Yeah, see, I feel like. I feel like I got through this first part when I tried this the other day. I got through this... Uh oh <laughs> I got buried by the snow. Alright, I gotta dig my way out here. Come on. Stupid snow avalanches. Come on, let's go. 
There we go. Okay, so let's sniff again. So I think... See, it's like it keeps pointing me kind of in a similar direction. I mean, it sounds like we're right in the middle of stuff here. So, it... Let's just cruise around a little bit here. back. You did it. You did it the Ow. Okay, I got lucky, but now I'm buried again. Let me out. Jeez, man. Okay, there we go. Okay, so... Sniff again. I like the acoustic music. Although the sound's gonna overpower it though. But like I said, I need to hear. Oh, no. no. Really? Come on, let's go. Well, you really gotta dig to get out of there, don't you? Okay, yeah, I went to stop to sniff. Okay, we gotta go this way. I kind of like following the little boom, boom, you know, the little that noise. So now it's over here. Sounds like it's over here. Are you still there? Yes. Well, we're trying. Oh, no. Again. Alright, I gotta dig out here. I'm gonna wrap up the video here soon, but I would, like I said, I would like to get to the main, um, I mean, these are meant to be more meaty levels, so that's cool. But, uh, yeah, when I found them, I had no idea how to get back. I just felt like I kept going around in the same place, and I was just completely lost. And then there was a thing where, like, the and they would say, Oh, I can't see you. They, they would have, like, the same two dialogue lines, and they just kept repeating over and over. I'm like, shut up. I'm trying to find my way home. I mean, I feel like... There's so much sound around me that I just don't know... Uh-oh. 
That sounds higher, I think. Don't fall on me again. So I hear more wind. So to me, that almost sounds like no. Again? Oh, okay. The next part of the trail. Okay, well that's good. Let me dig out of this uh, avalanche here. All right, where? Okay, I gotta wander around. I gotta listen for... lower, I th isn't it? it? Sounds lower. Okay, this goes higher. We gotta be getting to him here pretty soon, I would think. Okay, there, that's higher for sure. No! Okay, we're up high. <clears throat> I know we're on the right track. That is high. Okay, I get a feeling. Yep. All right, I like where this is going. All right, Biscuit. The snow is really coming down, and the scent trail won't work anymore. Can you sniff and see if you can catch their scent on the wind and follow that? You might have to sniff a few times. That's it. Boy, it's really coming down. What if we get lost? got to be getting close. Alright, just listen to that wind. I am not looking forward to winter, by the way. Okay, what is that? So there are little, like, I, 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 I'm looking again, and there's like a little, I think it's like an objective thingy on the left. And though, again, that's another piece of information, you know, you heard a sound, but a blind person isn't going to be cued into that. So I think I want to go this way. I think.
I have no idea if I'm going the right way. We're just gonna assume we are. <laughs> Are you people? Okay, we're Please help. We're coming. I know this is going to be a long video, but I want to give you, like I said, I, this is a really, really cool game, and I love like the different gameplay. I love the unique what you're doing. Um, there are things where I think I'm doing pretty well, and then there are things where I just I feel like I'm kind of getting a little lost. I just want to see if I can actually locate these guys. Whether we're going to get them home in this video, I kind of doubt it. I might try to continue after, but... Okay, so now it's this way. Where are you people? See, okay, you gotta be up on... I'm gonna... Uh... So it's like it's to the right, but I can't... Uh-oh. I think I fell. Okay... I... So it's this way. And now I'm looking just to see what the dog is doing. Because sometimes I hear like I'm footsteps and sometimes I don't. So it's like either it's really thick snow. Or I think there's a wall. I think there's like a cliff ledge here. So, I presumably... Okay, I think that's a wall. Again, I'm trying to do a little bit of a combination of audio and visual, because if I can even figure it out sort of visually, I might be able to... Like, oh, this is what it's trying to represent audibly, and then I can try to explain that better. So, it's, it's like it's up here... But, like, my owner and that and the other dog just stays at that one spot. I go up this way. I think I'm going the right way. Heck, I don't know. Them? Oh, okay, oh, we found them. So there's three safe. dudes. You did it. I can't believe it. Even with the buried scent trail, you can still find people. You're amazing. Okay, we better get going. Yeah. Huh. Or better yet, full of biscuit. Okay, let's make our way back. The snowfall is getting really thick. You may need to sniff to follow the waypoints in the distance. So, I don't know if... I hope they can't, like, I'm, I'm not going to run, but I hope that they don't, like, you can't lose some of them if you go too quickly or something. I don't know. So, okay, there's my owner. And this is where I got completely lost. Because look at this, you cannot see anything. And, you know, again, from what I can tell, 
there are... Right, okay, so I remember seeing that weird little circle thing there, whatever that's supposed to be. Um, it's like these canyon walls... are... like, you kind of run into them. And I don't know if I'm going the right way. So I hear my footsteps a little, but I said I'm looking at this visually, and like I go. yeah. So this is where he started saying like, "Where did where you go?" You? Yeah, he kept saying like the same two things every couple seconds, and I just got so lost in here. I I don't know. Okay, so there's our dudes. Where are you? This is kind of where I got to, and then... I almost wish there was checkpoints in this level, too, because then I could, like, have a checkpoint right where I found them, and then if I got too befuddled, I could start where I located the guys. I can't see you anymore. Instead of starting the whole level over. So... Where did you go? I can't see you anymore. Yeah, well, you just gotta listen. Listen to the footsteps like I am. Where did you go? See, it keeps telling me to go this way, but then when I do... Where are you? I truly have no Where idea how to go? get out of this area. None. I, like, I don't know if I gotta climb. Where did you go? I try to go in the direction it tells me, but then... See right here, it stops, like there's a border. I can't see you anymore. Okay, am I going the right way? I don't know, all I see is white. And using my hearing... Tells me to go to the right, but I can't see you anymore. I'm going toward the sound. Where are you? Where did you go? I'm just gonna keep going until it won't let me. Where are you? I would love to see some trees, because then I at least know I'm going the right way. Because I know we went up toward like the mountain tops. I can't see you anymore. See, that's telling me to go to the right again. Okay, I really got to stop running so my dog quits panting. I can't see you anymore. I know that. Just shut up and follow me. Where are you? See, I I want to go that way, but. Every time I've done that, it's... I can't see you anymore. Where did you go? Yeah, there's literally nothing you can do visually. Like, there is... I can't see you anymore. Like, I... Oh, wait. Okay, I see a tree. That's a good thing. I guess I'm 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 ninety eight percent using my hearing right now. I'm just trying to like Where did you go? Trying to see yeah, see that guy he just talks way too much. Um Where are you? I'm gonna just trust the audio and hope you? like hell that it I 
can't see you anymore. I can't see you anymore. Yeah, well, I can't see anything either, so chill. Where are you? Okay. Where did you go? Where did you go? Please let me say we're going the right way. I can't see you anymore. So I hear wind again. I hope we're not going... Where did you go? Hope we're going the right way. Where did you go? Okay, we're gonna center it, go tish left. Wait. We did it! Oh, we dude! You're biscuit, you're amazing! Hell yeah! I can't believe how good you are at this. You're a lifesaver. Helicopter! I was in his way, did I see the helicopter when I... Oh, thank God. I wonder how much money I earned from that. Space bar or A to continue. And there you go, guys. That should definitely give you a look at... Oh, you actually don't earn uh, money doing that. Um, because I'm still at 116. I thought I was right around there before. So, do I still just have to do odd jobs in order to... Swiss Alps. Wait, what? Fishing and retrieving. Okay, not gonna. Okay, that's the other thing I forgot to mention on this menu. It's kind of like iOS swiping with voiceover. Um, <laughs> instead of going hitting right to go right, you're, it's like you're pushing. You know, you're doing your swipe gesture. Like when you go, when you go left and right on a home screen on iOS, you actually like if you want to go to the right, you kind of swipe to the left. And I always forget that. So like instead of just hitting right, you're going the opposite way. No, yeah, I really want to use the D-pad here. Um, Australian bushfire. Airport customs. Two hundred fifty. Two hundred. Two fifty. Swiss Alps. Okay, so I noticed the icon change. I wonder if that just means that I have successfully done it. So the Swiss Alps, it says 150, but I've already owned it. Unless, do it, let's see, what does it say down there? Press Enter or A to select. Um, I don't remember how much it originally costed. Airport Customs locked. <sighs> Swiss Alps. Okay, so it doesn't say 150, so it still says that I okay. So yeah, um, like I said. It, it the navigation can be a little tricky but you definitely need to wear headphones and you just really need to kind of go slow and really listen to the different pitch changes use your sniff quite a bit um and you can get there but uh this is the full version of lost and hound i hope you found it uh i hope you found i hope you liked the video hope you found it helpful uh, give the video a like if you did like it. Uh, follow me on Twitter at BGFH79, twitch.tv slash illegally cited, illegally cited.com, or right here on YouTube. So until next time, I will chat with everybody again later.